The home match against Manchester City was Alvin Martin's first appearance of the season at Upton Park, following a long layoff with an Achilles problem. He spent the afternoon in a dentist chair, enjoying a painful operation to remove an abscess. But Alvin beat the pain barrier to make the starting lineup and play a key role. Typical nice triangle from West Ham. Bishop, who's been in marvellous form lately. The fans were chanting his name after the game at Norwich recently. Breaker. Chapman attacking it on the near post. It's still breaking free. And an indirect free kick is given to West Ham because I think there was a deliberate back pass there. Well, that's what the referee's given the decision for. It can only be that, Ian. But in his opinion, Kelvin Morton decided it here. And Chapman gets in between them very well. But here, Cole just cushions it back to the goalkeeper. And I think the referee's spot on. Now, this is dangerous. Bishop is hovering it over it. Matt Holmes is there, and he's got a good left foot. So too is Burrows. If they can find the angle, it's tricky, but this is menace. I tell you what, you just hit this and hope it hits something, is it? It's Burrows, and it's in! West Ham have the lead! David Burrows! There's Steve Potts, who was linked in the newspapers last week with a move to Birmingham City. I asked Billy Bonds about that, he said it's absolute nonsense. He hasn't even spoken to Birmingham City. Doesn't know where the story came from. And here's Breaker. Oh, room here for Marsh. And here's Chapman. That's two. Lee Chapman puts West Ham right into the box seat. And that was a gloriously conceived goal by West Ham. You can take this move back as far as you want to do. This is West Ham to a team. And I think they adjusted West Ham. They may have looked for another pass in a couple of months ago. But not now. Billy Bonds has said, you've created the opening now. You've worked wonderfully well. Your movement's been great. Now when you get a chance, give the big boys something to go after. And you don't get many better crosses in than that. Only the second time that West Ham United have scored two at home this season. On the other occasion, they beat Sheffield Wednesday 2 0. Quinn lays this back in. Manchester City with Flickcraft. Oh, that's a great save by Nikosko. Still could be something. Flicked back in again by Sheeran. Nobody there, or maybe Lomas. Desperate defending for West Ham, but Nikosko saved West Ham there. Burrows. Matty Holmes on the chase. Can he get across him from there? Near post is Bishop, and he's going to drop down. And a chance for Marsh, and off the line by Coton. That was a remarkable escape for Manchester City. Mike Marsh so nearly on the score sheet. And goes Chapman, flips it on well for Morley, and Bishop trying to pave a way through. has scored for West Ham and it's the first time he's ever scored in the league for them since his signing from Bournemouth well it takes a huge deflection there it goes Richard Edgell can't get out of the way whether his shots for any I'm not sure we'll get an idea from here he hits it there whether that's going in whether the goalkeeper's going to come up who cares as far as Matt Holmes is concerned he doesn't care. This save and for that crucial third goal. And I think that is a decisive one in the match. White. One of those piercing runs that he tends to make. Ooh, breaker turns into trouble here. This could be a goal. That must be a penalty kick. Surely it is. Leclosco bringing down Griffiths. And Manchester City have a penalty kick which Keith Curl is going to take. Well, he just gets a bit sloppy, Tim Breaker. It's a simple matter of fact. I don't think they can have any complaints about the penalty being given. 
He just goes to sleep, it's late in the game, he gets a little sloppy. And McCloskey really wants to watch his step there, he could go in the book. Now Keith Curl to take the penalty kick for Manchester City. That's a good one too, isn't it? 3-1. City's late reply done nothing to hide the quality of the champagne performance and Billy Bond's new look hammer.